Well, we're very fortunate to have Steve Carter here at our booth from Ore Protection Systems. We've got a couple questions to ask him. So Steve, can you tell us a little bit about how the NFPA guidelines have affected data center containment systems like the ones that Sub-Zero Engineering produce? The NFPA guidelines were established to help both data center managers and local fire authorities ensure a safe working environment in the data center and to protect the operations of the data center. Well, that's great. So how does it work? Well, the NFPA guidelines require that containment systems have a pre-action system that removes the obstruction at the point in which a smoke detector is alarmed. Additionally, these containment systems should be designed in a manner that permits the periodic testing for the effectiveness of the fire system to work. All right, so now we're going to head inside the containment system and Steve is going to bring a can of aerosol and show us how it works, right? I'd be, I'd be glad to do that. Okay, let's, let's check it out. I have here with me a can of aerosol smoke. I'm going to use it to simulate smoke from a fire in a data center. Great. Wow, and there it is. Notice how the smoke detector alarm has automatically triggered the retraction of the roof. Incredible technology, it really is. So fire suppression and containment systems should always work hand in hand. Yes, and when they do, it establishes a safe working environment and protects the data center operations. Very important. Thank you so much for stopping by our booth, Steve. We appreciate it. You're welcome.